Hi guys, in this video I'm going to review yet another compact wireless microphone system. This one is from Lensgo. So like I said, it's another one of these systems that came out uh, and if you've been following me online uh, over the last couple of weeks, you've seen that I've kind of reviewed you know, a lot of these already. Very similar. Each one has slight little differences. Uh, the first original one of its kind uh, of these sort of compact wireless microphones was from Rode uh, and then now recently the latest one they released is sort of like this updated version which is a dual system meaning two transmitters one uh, receiver this one from Lensco is identical setup so you have two of these transmitters one of them uh, here I have mounted already as you can see on my t-shirt and the audio that you guys are hearing is actually coming in from uh, from this microphone uh, and for those of you who don't know about these systems basically they're like a all-in-one sort of a unit meaning you have a little transmitter and in it you have a built-in microphone capsule but you also have a microphone jack so like a three and a half millimeter microphone jack so you can plug in any level of your microphone that you can get out there uh, and the transmitters themselves as you can see they're pretty nice small uh, about the same size as all the other sort of similar units uh, there I, I would say they're maybe like, in size very similar to the Rode wireless go to but they are a bit heavier you can definitely feel it and you can see it sort of uh, uh, or when you look at this microphone here, it's kind of when it's mounted, it's it kind of pulls on my shirt a little bit more. Uh, other than that, you have uh, here on the side, you have a little power button, which uh, allows you to, as you can see, when I press it, it's flashing and that means that it's muted. So allows your talent to basically mute or unmute this uh, themselves. Um, and then here on the side, you have a USB-C connection. Uh, for charging the internal batteries the batteries I don't really know what they're rated at because I couldn't find any info and so far I've only used this for a couple of days and I've never run out of batteries so uh, I've, I think I would I was on average I kind of had it on for about five hours and um, and it's you know it worked so I'm guessing maybe six seven hours it can last uh, there's also a micro SD card connection here uh, because you can plug in a micro SD card and the cool thing about this is that it's sort of in that way it's similar to the latest Rode Wireless Go 2 is that in you can have internal recording so you put in the card and then once you, you have a card in you have a record button here on the front and you can turn it on uh, by basically pressing and holding it when you press and hold it for I believe it's three seconds uh, yep then you see it starts flashing and that means that it's actually internally now recording to that uh, SD card uh, so this is sort of a nice feature because it allows you to have a backup recording in case let's say your talent goes too far or if there's some kind of object in the way that's causing interference uh, well then if you, unless you're doing this live which in that case this wouldn't help you but if you're doing this for example like you're going to edit the, all this footage later on uh, and let's say something happens where the audio that was you know being received on the on the camera end or the audio recorder was getting some interference well you can always go back and get the original recordings in each of these uh, transmitters so that's a nice thing to have now the difference obviously is that the Rode wireless go 2 uh, system has a built-in memory card this one you got to put in your own memory card so you can say it's better or worse some people prefer to be able to change the memory card so they can quickly take it out let's say give it to somebody uh, so they can work with that footage instead of having to give them the whole unit uh, but at the same time you have to make sure you buy your own memory card with the Rode Wireless Go, you can't really take it out. You have to plug it into a computer and you have to offload the footage. But at the same time, you don't need to buy any, anything extra. Uh, but that's basically how the transmitters work. And other than that, they're pretty simple. Now, on the back, you'll notice there is no mount. It does come actually with the little clip-on mount, which is, again, identical to like all the other systems, which is going to fit on a cold shore hot shoe mount. So let's say if you're on top of your camera or something and the same thing is actually on the back of the transmitter so you also have one of these uh, now you'll notice this is kind of a cool idea but it's something i'll tell you you have to be careful with is that this little clip on uh, is actually magnetically connects here to the back so here on the back of the unit you'll notice it's like a little opening and if you put it in there the magnet is pretty strong now i never had this actually detached because like i said the magnet feels pretty strong but uh, it does because of that it kind of like you see it can rotate pretty freely in that case so you have to be careful about that so it kind of doesn't shift around and when walking around with it sometimes i felt like like for example if i were to trip or something 
it could you know or let's say if i had some piece of clothing like let's say if this was hidden under some f a few layers of clothes then i think this could potentially detach if something snagged on it and i could you know kind of pull away so something to be aware of oh another quick thing you'll notice is on the back here you also have uh, these two here connections these are actually for charging the internal battery when this thing is uh, inside its case and that's because this whole unit comes with a like a basically you could say a travel case uh, that's also going to protect it and is also going to be uh, good for charging you have a uh, here you can open it and when you press the button you can open it as you can see you have space for two of your transmitters uh, your receiver also all the cables they give you they give you a usb-c cable uh, they give you uh, a trs con connection and a trrs connection for mobile phones and things like that you also get one of these little things which are basically uh, so that you can place it here let's say where the um, uh, where the magnetic connection is so let's say if you wanted to uh, glue this because it has basically like a sticky here on the back you can basically let's say i guess the, the receiver you could glue it to somewhere to your camera rig or something like that so just something to be aware of that you can you can mount it that way and then like i said you can close it now when this thing is actually in its case then the case itself uh, uh, will be able to charge it and that's because here you would then plug in using one USB-C connection uh, and now you'll be able to charge all three of these uh, basically the, the two transmitters and one receiver that's something too nice to to have another thing you'll notice is that it comes with a little furry thing uh, and I actually like how they kind of solve this because with the original road wireless uh, the, the the problem I had and many people had is that uh, basically the, the wind muff would tend to fall off uh, and then also I noticed that with some of the other units, you know, the, the, they had sort of similar problems with that or they just simply didn't provide any windscreen protection. Uh, the latest Rode Wireless Go actually has a you know, really nice solution with sort of a twist connection. This is sort of similar, a bit bigger, but it gives you this little bit of like a windscreen that's attached to this kind of a frame, uh, this plastic frame, and you just sort of slide it over it and you just click it in there and that's it as you can see it now attached and it's actually very sturdy on there so you have to like lift this tab here on the side to take it out and yep yeah, that's it now as you can see the receiver is very similar in size and kind of the design as the transmitters uh, with the key difference being is that you have this led screen on the front and that allows you to see which mode you're in and that's because you can switch between stereo and mono mode uh, you can also adjust the, the level here so you can see uh, the overall level uh, for your your uh, microphones and that if you want to change between for example stereo and mono you just press these two buttons here on the top and hold them and you'll be able to switch between that as you can see right now we're in mono mode uh, and then again if you want to switch back to stereo press and uh, and then you switch it and that just basically means that you can either output uh, the same, basically both of these microphones kind of, you know, mixed down to one uh, mono signal and it's going to output on both left and right channels or you can have these uh, be separated on the left and right channels if you're in, in stereo mode. Uh, you also have your little LEDs here on the top that kind of show you uh, w whether you're paired and how much battery you have. If this starts flashing red, just like on the... Uh, transmitters that means you're running low on the battery uh, here on the top you have your connection a three and a half millimeter jack connection so you can connect that to your camera or your recorder uh, and then here you have your USB-C connection for charging the internal batteries and your power button so like I said kind of a cool you know little unit has a lot of similarities to the new Rode Wireless Go 2 is that in you know it has the internal recordings has two units connecting to one uh, receiver uh, it's also nice, compact, small, maybe not as small as the Rode Wireless Go 2, but, but pretty decent in that size. Um, now, there is another difference, and that's the actual working range. So the working range on this unit is 70 meters, or around 230 feet, which is basically around half the, the, the length that you're going to get with the Rode Wireless Go 2. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen my review of that and my testing of the long wireless range in that system, then check it out uh, the link is in the description of this video and now let's go outside and maybe test the long range capability of this system and as always i've got my number one favorite model here my wife chrissy ah, i'm back 
I'm back. <laughs> All right, she's always back. All right, let's let's go. I'm back. always here. Yeah. <laughs> So now we're around 100 feet away from the camera, or around 30 meters, which is uh, actually in the manual for the system. Uh, the manufacturer says this is like the optimal working distance. Now the max distance, like I said, it was uh, 200 feet uh, or 230 feet or around 70 meters. So, um, yeah. Well, this is how I sound. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say something for the video. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so people can hear you. Can so, hear your beautiful voice. And see if this mic works. Yeah. There is, it's actually a little bit windy here. Like every so one little gust of wind comes through and we have yeah. the little windscreen. So hopefully again, mm -hmm. that you know, you don't, you're not hearing too much of the wind noise. Anyways, let's head back. All right, let's keep going. Now, I, and right now I'm with my back to the camera. So the signals, you know, not line of sight, but we do have objects around us, like these cars, trees, and those usually help bounce some back so I'm curious to see what we will all right and now uh, we're around 200 feet away from the camera again this is how I sound and this is how I sound and what do you think um, I think you should you guys should hear us clearly we're not that far from the camera so I mean they're all relatively speaking I mean normally I wouldn't be recording an interview that far from the thing but well yeah but I imagine you're gonna use it for when you need to use it for a particular scene where you can't be that close. No. Yeah, well, I mean, usually, you know, I, I, at least I never have to have a camera that far. Or when a reporter has to go really close to something and the cameraman has to stay behind. Maybe, yeah. So uh, again, this is not the max advertised working distance. We're going to go now a little bit further up to 230 uh, feet. All right, let's go. All right, so right now we're around 230 feet away or the max advertised working range. Uh, we have some cars, so Hopefully it doesn't black our line of sight. Uh, we don't know what he's trying to do. <laughs> and hopefully it is works he well. Parking? Is he Maybe he's trying to go around us. <laughs> All right, let me, let's move out of the way. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, so it looks like he's, he's just parking. Anyway, so okay. this is how I sound. And this is how I sound. And again, we're at the max advertised working range around 230 feet away. And just for the hell of it, I decided to go all the way to 300 feet. So we passed the official working range. Yep. Uh, because I'm just curious to see for myself, is it actually going to work in open line of sight uh, at least? What do you think? Well, we'll see because we've tried some that we've gone even further. So I don't see why yeah. this one shouldn't work. But then again, you said the people that made it only says until two, 230 feet or 70 feet, meters. So. Yeah. We'll yeah, see. I mean, the, the one system that we tried that was, we could go really far, that was yeah. the road one. That so far, I think it's the best one I've tested. But All right, we'll see if this one compares to that one. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's go back. Beepster, Weepster, such a good doggy. Good job, Phoebe. Good job. Good girl, me Juju's. Good girl. Yeah, you did such a good job. You were guarding the camera. Good girl, me Juju's. So that nobody steals our camera. No, yeah, it's so good. <laughs> so hopefully that gives you guys a good idea of what you can expect when you're using this wireless microphone uh, on a longer range. Now, you should be aware that the, all of these systems, they, they use 2.4 gigahertz frequencies. It's the same as a local Wi-Fi wi networks. So if you have a lot of these in the area or if you have other wireless signal interference, that can drastically cut your, your range. Also, keep in mind that, let's say if you're in a completely open area with maybe nothing, you know, no objects and uh, kind of blocking the line of sight, but there's also no other buildings or, or objects basically that can bounce the signal, then uh, your, your signal is not gonna basically work as well when you have something in the, in the way. Like let's say if you have your talent turned with their back to the camera and the transmitter, let's say, is you know, mounted like I have right here and it has to basically go through the body. Because if there's no other objects to bounce the signal, then it's gonna uh, the, the performance of these and any of these basically wireless microphone systems is gonna be greatly reduced. But in the end, I think it's it's always good to see another company kind of coming into the market and providing some competition, uh, you know, different price range options and just different options in general uh, for for us uh, customers. So again, if you're looking for a compact wireless microphone system, uh, there's a lot of these now on the market. This is uh, the latest edition, and I will be now doing, I know I've been saying that in the last few videos, but now I'm kind of done reviewing these little unit systems, and I'm just going to take and sort of do an overall comparison video, including this one and the latest one from Rode, which is the, also the company that kind of started the trend with these. Uh, and I'm going to sort of review all of these units and kind of talk about 
you know, which I think is the best deal, uh, has the best features and things like that. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, as always, you can find out more about that video or any other videos that I've done and, and gear reviews and filmmaking tutorials on my website at TomAntosFilms.com. While you're there, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, and otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.